Hello, this is Mel Lapid of Mel Lapid Vlogs and I'm here at the Toyota booth at the LA Auto Show 2019. There's not many Toyotas that I can highlight right now, but there are some Toyotas that I will point out just to show you what Filipinos are missing on key Toyota models in the Philippines. And I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, let's go. Just to start, tignan nyo ang Camry ng America. Look at that. This is the Toyota Camry in the US. Total guapo. Tignan mo naman, no? Oh. Itim ang bubong. Sporty. Akala mo, akala mo sports car. And this is the XSE V6. Hindi 4-cylinder, ha? This is the V6 Camry XSE. Also known as 300 horsepower Camry. This is the sportiest Camry ever, actually. And that's the uh, hybrid uh, Camry over there. But that's not my focus today. My focus today is this. Yes, this is the Toyota Corolla. And some of you might point out that this is the Altis. Pero ito ang sasabihin ko sa inyo, ha? Nope. This is not the Altis. This is the Aorus in Europe. The Toyota Aorus. Tell me the difference. Look at the difference between this hatchback and the sedan that the Philippines will get. The Altis. But this is the hatchback. And this is the, the most potent model on the Corolla lineup here in the US. It's the XSE, so it has four disc brakes and the hatchback on the other hand. This one has a 180 horsepower and an option of a six-speed manual transmission. The interior is similar to the regular Corolla or the Altis. Very familiar interior, very familiar Corolla interior, but this is the hatchback. This is the one that Corolla that is the, the Europeans are familiar with. The, in Europe, they call it the Toyota Aorus. Also in Taiwan, they call it the Toyota Aorus. Because in Taiwan, which is another left-hand drive country, they sell this in Taiwan right now as the Toyota Corolla Aorus. While the sedan is the Altis. In my opinion, i rather call this the Levin. You see, this is the sportiest model. Eh? See, it has that two-tone, two-tone paint scheme on the hatchback, and in comparison to the sedan, very nice. I'm not gonna show you guys the hybrid because because er everyone is talking about it right now. And there you go. That's the. Toyota Corolla hatchback not available in the Philippines especially this model the the one with the 2.0 liter 180 horsepower six-speed manual actually you can get one with the automatic with this model so on to the next vehicle right now I'm here at the Toyota SUV crossover booth crossover because there's a RAV4 and this is the CHR I know you Filipinos are dying to see this in Philippine roads but unfortunately that won't happen because you just keep your Toyota Rush and Avanza as you can see this is the close look of the CHR in fact this is a little bit decontented version compared to the European spec but at least I can give you a nice closer look on the CHR I'll show you the interior of it. The door is up high. This is a good rival to the Nissan Juke. So, masikip siya. Uh, actually, it's not bad, but it's it feels claustrophobic inside, in my opinion. The interior ng CHR. It's very dark, actually. Wala man lang sunroof eh. And it's dark. At, it's dark inside. See. Uh, look at me. Uh, it's just. It's dark in here. 
Sure, Baporma and everything, but nothing spectacular. And the door and the window is small. Look how small the window is. It's dark. I see darkness. Let's see how roomy is the hatches. Similar to the Nissan Juke, in my opinion. Yet, it's dark in here. It feels so. I can feel the darkness out. Oh well. Yeah, CHR. CHR Limited, so this is the top of the line CHR. At least I give you guys a closer look on the CHR. Alright, on to the next vehicle. As I walk around here at the the truck section of Toyota booth, if you guys are wondering if the Toyota 4Runner is still alive, and this is it. Still alive. I'm not gonna put too much emphasis on it. Just to let you guys know that the 4Runner is still alive. Alive and well. And there's the bad boy forerunner. It's the TRD Pro over there. I'm not gonna put too much attention to it because you can just see a lot of things about it anyway. The one that I want to pay attention to is this very Land Cruiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Philippines, Land Cruisers are everywhere, but this this version is special. It's the Heritage Edition, and this Land Cruiser is a five-seater version what you see on this unit right here is included on the heritage edition the only downside with the heritage edition it has that big v8 5.7 liter gasoline v8 engine on which it will drink your gas gas mileage like there's no tomorrow one thing i like about the heritage edition is that it's just simple it doesn't have it doesn't have step boards, so it looks higher than what it is. It looks a basic model, actually. Another thing with the Heritage Edition, you have this Yakima full cargo roof rack right here. Plus, a nice kit badge right here. And, of course, typical Land Cruiser. Sick. Let me just get inside to give you guys a outlook. Same old, same old Land Cruiser. Still beautiful. Yummy car. Yummy. And another thing that the Land Cruiser, this Land Cruiser has that the regular Land Cruiser doesn't is the surprise when I open this one. This Land Cruiser is a five-seater. Yep. You don't see seat belts. You don't see some hook points for the third row seat. Nope. This Land Cruiser is a strictly five seats. Beautiful. Just like the just like the uh, FJ60 Land Cru the the 60 series Land Cruiser. Five seats. So that what makes this version special, a little bit special, but I heard that this this version is close to hundred thousand dollars. Well there you go. There's the this is the special limited edition Land Cruiser 200 Heritage Edition. Alright, on to the next vehicle. And this is another CHR. Yeah, boring. And of course. We're here in the TRD section of Toyota. And there's the SEMA cars. See that Supra? There you go. Yeah, they're, they're from SEMA right here. See? This is the white body looking uh, Supra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supra. Z4 Supra. This is the Hyper Boost Edition with a large wing. And this is the, we call it the heritage uh, concept. They also fitted the old GCA80 rear wing. And they have the replica front 
front headlight. As you can see right here. And see, there you go. Super Heritage Edition. And a replica taillight. See? GZ80 replica taillight. See, it says Heritage. And a cute diffuser on top of that. Nice, nice, nice. But I'm not gonna concentrate on the Supra today. What I'm gonna concentrate is that Camry over there. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Pilipinas, this is the camera TRD. Yup. This is the most aggressive Camry ever. And the other one's the Avalon, but I'd like to focus on the Camry because it's a lighter vehicle than the Avalon. They're based on the same platform anyway, but there's a drift model on the Avalon, but you can look at the uh, websites on that. But this is the TRD Camry. 300 horsepower with TRD goodies. Look at that. The Philippine Camry won't look like this. No way. The Philippine Camry looks like a a sugar without the sweetness. Here the TRD and there's a Supra, there's a Supra. I'm not gonna feature the Supra because everyone's talking about the Supra. Supra, Supra, Supra. And the two Supra. Supra, Supra, na, Supra, na. The Z4 Supra. Okay. All right, that's the Toyota booth here at the LA Auto Show. And as you can see, there's a GR Supra behind me. I don't know if that color is available in the Philippines, but yeah, whatever. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys visit my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, my Instagram account, and lapit.com. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.